So, are you dead? Cause I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. I'm like, rolling around on the floor, fucking dead. Jesus fucking Christ. But anyways, before I start ranting about the episode, here I am at home. It's 11.20. I should be in school, but my school is fucking stupid and closed school. I woke up. There's a three-hour delay, and I bless Jesus because I stayed up till one fangirling over Castle because, I mean, who could go to sleep after that shit? And then I woke up, there's a three-hour delay. Then I woke up, and there was still school, and then, like, 15 minutes later, maybe, or, like, 30 minutes later, it closed. So now I only have two days for spring break. I'm not impressed. At all. I'm really fucking pissed off. And then it just randomly started snowing again. Like it's fucking snowing again. Like why? But anyways, if you hear in the background the Carrie Diaries, then that's what I'm watching because I missed it last night. But I'm not really paying attention, so I'm just gonna have to restart the whole entire episode over. But I wanted like background noise, and there was nothing else on TV. But anyways, so. Moving on to the episode, the episode was so, like, it was so cute, and it was scary as fuck, too, man. Like, I just got done rewatching it, and my cat scared the shit out of me, like, five fucking times. Because you fucking bitch just thinks it's okay to just pop out of nowhere when I'm watching some scary-ass shit. Like, no. Like, fuck you. God. But anyways, so... It was really cute, and the video was kind of creepy, but, um, then they, like, go to, like, the victim's apartment, and Castle goes in the girl's closet, and then he's all like, wow, I thought I would never find a closet with more shoes than yours, because they're dating, and they're boyfriend and girlfriend, and they have each other's clothes in each other's fucking closets, so they just go in each other's fucking closets and pick up their clothes, because, you know, either... Beckett's at Castle's Loft, or Castle's at Beckett's apartment. It's okay, because they're always fucking having sex and shit. Speaking of sex, their relationship is so fucking kinky. It's fucking ridiculous. It's actually fucking ridiculous. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You fucking take naked goddamn pictures in bed with each other, and fuck, like, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, Castle, we could, we could use the picture I took of you in bed the other night. That is fucking horse shit. I fucking cannot handle their kinky ass motherfucking relationship. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, and then, Beck is just so like, whoa, why don't you come back to my place and we can just like, come like, fuck it out, you know? Get your fucking shit off this evil spirit bullshit, cause it's not gonna happen. You're being a fucking dick. And then, choose Sola, and then Castle just saw like, nope, if we have sex, we're gonna die. Sorry, no, I'm going home. And then he walks into the fucking pole, which was fucking funny. But my camera needs to stop doing this shit. Stop it. Okay, so then fucking, yeah. So he walks into the pole. I mean, your girlfriend's Kate Beckett, and she's asking for sex, and you say, no, you deserve to walk into a fucking pole. Come on now. And who would say no to Kate Beckett? It's Kate fucking Beckett. Like, I don't, I don't fucking understand. I don't understand the logic of Castle's brain. Like, please explain to me that. But anyways, Perlmutter was in this episode, and I love Perlmutter, but I miss my girl Lainey. Like, Lainey's my girl. Like, just give me Lainey. It's all good. It's just all good. It's all like, woohoo, yay. Um... Espo and Ryan were, like, really, really funny. And, like, the whole entire episode was, like, really funny. And, like, Ryan was just like, oh, well, Jenny and I are trying to make a baby. We don't say shit like that because it causes me to have a goddamn mental breakdown. And I already have enough of those, so I don't need another one. And then Becky's just a fucking badass fucking running around in the woods with fucking heels on. Like, bitch, please stop it. Like, I don't... Understand who keeps giving you these goddamn rights to do these things like what the fuck and then the funniest part was when Castle was in the car and he told her 
<laughs> that he broke her vase by playing Wii Tennis. <gasps> and I laughed so hard because that is some, that is me. I would do that. Becky would invite me over her house and then she'd be like, oh, I'm going to go make some food, make yourself at home. I find the Wii, I pop in Wii Sports, I play tennis. Next thing you know, I fucking break her veins and she kicks my ass. Which I wouldn't mind, because, I mean, it's Kate fucking Beckett. But, like, for real? And, like, fucking, like, was Castle in her apartment alone? Was she in the goddamn shower? And he was just like, oh, let me play some Wii Tennis. What if they play Wii Tennis together? She probably kicks his ass. Fuck me. I can't. Someone should write a fic. Someone should write a fic of them playing Wii Tennis. And then, you know, fucking loser does something. Yeah. And then, you know, the ratchet bitch with the glasses kills the fucking people, of course. And then we get to the end scene. And that's when... Camera, I fucking will throw you... Okay. That's when I fucking lost my mind. Because fucking, they're just sitting on the goddamn couch in the loft drinking wine like it's no big fucking deal and then you know she grabs his bucket list and is like reading it and the first thing on his goddamn bucket list is be with Kate it's not be with Beckett or date Beckett or anything it's just be with Kate the tears that I like cried I'm crying right now you see my eyeballs they're crying they're crying tears are falling from my ball from my eyeballs they are fucking be with Kate. And then she was just all like, yeah, I'm gonna kiss my boyfriend because I have that right. And then, and then like fucking, I don't know, man. I just don't know. And she walked to the bedroom with ice cubes and she's gonna do the fucking ice cube trick. And I know what the ice cube trick is and I'm just gonna fucking kill myself. I'm just, no, wow, god damn it. And his face at the end is probably like my favorite part. Cause it's just like, he gets to go have sex with my girlfriend. But yeah, and then the promo, fucking, oh, it's not food I'm craving for. Fucking son of a bitch. Of course you're not craving fucking food when you just turn down Beckett for sex like three times in the goddamn row. I'm not naked, I'm wearing shorts, but like, Fuck, man, I just, fuck, this show sucks major asshole, and I don't know why I keep watching it, because it just causes me to throw up a lot, and I don't like throwing up. So, yeah. That was basically it. And Ryan, my poor baby, and he cuts his hair, and God fucking damn it, why is that man married? Because if he, I don't even give a fuck that he's married. I, I want to fuck the shit out of him. Like, God, Seamus, my fuck. Ugh. Ugh. God. But, yeah. So, I'm just chilling out here with Daisy. And I'm going to go on my mom's laptop because my laptop fucking broke again. Ratchet goddamn piece of shit. And, yeah. So... That's basically it. I mean, there's 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 nothing else that I have to. Oh, and then Stana thinks it's okay to go to the fucking Game of Thrones fucking premiere and fucking look wear a black dress and look fucking hot as hell and just fucking kill me some more. Like God. Yeah. I honestly like. Okay, wait. I have a picture on my phone. And she's eating popcorn. Popcorn is my second favorite food besides French fries. And there's already a fucking picture of her eating goddamn French fries. And now there's a picture of her eating fucking popcorn. And there's fucking tears streaming down my goddamn fucking face. Like, look at that shit. I fucking can't even. Just fuck. Oh. God. And then, wait. Where the fuck is this? This bitch's legs. This motherfucker's legs. She just, fuck, look, look, ah, nope, nope, look at that shit, Stana, please, fucking stop, 
for the love of God and everything good in this world. If you want to see me live another day, please just stop. So that's basically it, and this video is 10 minutes, and it's going to take a fucking shit hour, piece of shit to fucking upload, and God. So yeah, so I love you guys, and the next promo we get is the 100th episode promo, and I fucking can't. So with that, I'm leaving. Deuces, motherfuckers! Donna was like that last night, though, because they couldn't say her name right. She was just like, deuces, motherfuckers, you can't even say my goddamn name right. Peace out, peasants.